guys real quick I just got this graphene 1300 milliamp Turnigy battery on eBay for $29 it's a 5s battery it's pretty impressive it's heavy as hell though. I've never had a 5s battery this thing is uh, over 200 grams I think it was like 216 or something like that maybe even more so I use it on what I'm calling my 5s build this is the 180 prototype not nearly finished with it yet so I've just wired everything I get it together enough to get it to fly and hover but I was hovering in the back yard here just doing you know medium punch outs ticking off my neighbors just whoosh, 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 whoosh. but with this battery I was able to do that for about close to 12 minutes 11 minutes 40 seconds and then the buzzer went off to bring it back down uh, so this thing is pretty remarkable these motors are pretty remarkable they were cold when I brought it back down I can't even say that they were lukewarm these racers are 2305 fire editions guys for $35 for four of them get them get them because they're way they run way cooler than my my emax uh, 2306 it's just night and day difference i don't know what the deal is i spent over a hundred dollars for this and these 35 dollars and they're running ice cold on 5s 5s battery guys so anyway uh i also have questions for you guys out there how do you mount the btx and the uh camera on a 6s or 5s build without burning it out because that's where i'm at next so i want to do that without burning out my fpv camera and still having good distance so if you guys have any uh suggestions on what to do uh let me know but this is a successful so far successful 5s build with the 180 millimeter frame and it's also it's a four millimeter carbon arms so very 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 durable frame because it's smaller and as you can see the props just barely barely make it around the frame anyway all right guys that's all i have for now talk to you soon skype twice i know